Hey, what's going on everybody? John here with Wiki Game Guides, and this is my Death March difficulty walkthrough for the Nithril boss fight. You can see here my character stats and equipment before this fight. I'm only level four. And this is uh this can be a tricky boss fight. It's not insanely tough. Um, but I cut out the first two waves, I guess you can call it, of this fight. And I went right to the third and the final and the hardest wave, because it's the longest and the most difficult and uh uh yeah, anyway, it's the most challenging. Uh, so, like all the other videos in this series, uh, I'm encouraging you to use my Amazon link in the description to make your purchases. It kicks back a little bit of a commission to me and helps support Wiki Game Guides and making all these walkthroughs and it costs nothing extra. So please be sure to click that Amazon affiliate link when uh, before making your purchase in the cart. So each wave is pretty much the same. Uh, Basically, after you take out enough of Nithril's health, he'll go into that uh, bubble shield that you can see right there, and he'll summon a few weak hounds of the wild hunt and regenerate all of his health back to full. Uh, after you kill those hounds, he will then uh, pop out of the shield and go... And like he, he doesn't really gain any new moves between each of the three waves, so you don't have to worry about him like busting out new attacks or special abilities or something like that. Um, use your Ken shield uh, whenever your barrier is not up uh do not uh and uh in in uh, Nithril does a ton of damage with each hit and it's incredibly fast so do not get greedy when attacking attacking him so after your ken shield is up uh hit him with the axie sign which will stun him for a second and then go in for uh, one or two heavy attacks. Do not go for three heavy attacks. As soon as you get one or two heavy attacks in, and you'll just kind of learn the timing after failing enough, after tagging him with the Axie and stunning him, uh, then you'll like you'll kind of learn when you can get away with one attack or when you can get away with two attacks, uh, two heavy attacks. The, the heavy attacks are significantly stronger against this guy than the weak attacks. And I don't completely understand how the heavy and light attack system in this works. I know it has something to do with the armor that he's wearing, where you know the heavy attack will be more effective against people that are wearing armor, something along those lines. Anyway, by the numbers uh, that I did some math on this, uh, definitely use the heavy attack against this guy. Um, don't, uh, just don't be too greedy against this guy. This fight is all about patience. Um, he has very easy to predict attack patterns as long as you don't don't get too greedy and just be patient. Uh, never go in for an attack without your Ken shield up, um, and only go in for an attack when he's been stunned with the Axie. Um, and your uh, companion uh, Kira, every once in a while, like you'll you'll kind of learn how to use her attacks. Like she doesn't do a ton of damage, but she d like her lightning and her kind of force blast attacks will wake. Uh, Nithril from the Axie stun. So you have to be kind of aware of that. So I kind of got in the habit of um, waiting for her to hit him with lightning and then hit it, like, just like I did right there. Wait for her to throw one of her attacks and then throw the Axie and then go in for that heavy attack because if you do it in that wrong order, what will happen is you'll, um, you will uh, freeze him with the Axie and then you will, um, and then she'll wake him up as you're lunging at him with the heavy attack and you'll just get completely smashed by him because he was woken up by that stupid uh, Kira. And that is a very easy way to die and a very frustrating way to die. Um, once Kira, uh, on, on one of, I think I edited out of this run actually, it was on one of the first two waves, she got stuck in a corner um, and was not doing anything to distract Nithril. And even though she doesn't really do a ton of damage to him, it's still very helpful to have her distracting him and uh, n not not just absorbing his attacks whenever you know they're close enough, but have her kind of knocking him off his feet and keeping him in a defensive stance instead of a constant offensive stance. So if that happens, what I did was I just kind of dragged Nithril over right on top of her and that kind of woke her up. So if that happens to you, just keep that in mind. Just drag him on top of her. And she cannot take damage during this fight. Uh, so unlike the previous uh, portal fight, where there was the three portals that you had to stay underneath uh, her, her magic bubble to avoid taking damage from the atmosphere, I guess is the best way to put it, uh, you do not have to worry about her dying here. So just don't 
just let her distract him as much as possible. It's pretty freaking helpful, actually. And I got through this fight without using a single health potion and with a busted sword. So it, it, it just takes a lot of patience to get through this fight. So anyway, thanks for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Witcher 3 updates and check out the other videos on my Witcher 3 playlist. And um, give the video a like and a comment if it helped you out. Thanks for watching and game on.